Hi friends, this is at the rate I old monk and today I am with the Nokia 7.1 and we are going to do the unboxing of the device, we will check it on the hands on, we will check out the camera features and also the benchmark in this video. Now talking about the device, it was announced a few days back in outside of countries but right now today it is being launched in India for the price point of 19,999. It will be going on sale through the offline market and only the Nokia official website. Now here we have the box and the box is typical similar what we have seen the Nokia boxes earlier it is 7.1 Android one devices the official price is 24,000 here but it will price around 19,999 the pure view display HDR dual camera snapdragon processor and it has a HDR video quality I will talk about this later on now here I am just taking out the wrapper which has been sealed so I have broken the sealed here this is the device and definitely the device feels a little bit heavy on the side it looks pretty much premium also at the same time it has a glass sandwich uh, both the side and the metallic rim on the side we will talk about this later let it be booted and what we are getting in the paperwork we are getting some get, get started user guide and the product manual and also here in this box we are getting the adapter which you can pause the video and check the adapter rating here is the adapter rating now talking about the cable it comes with the type c charging port so it is a fast charging support we will talk about this later and here we are getting the earphones the earphones are very pretty normal and ordinary what we have seen always nokia gives it is normal earphone coming with the 3.5 mm jack and have the mic in it now talking about the device it looks pretty gorgeous the notch is very small and it has a 19 is to 9 display the display size is 5.84 inch full sd plus display and talking about the display it can adapt in the indoor and outdoor according to the brightness because it is having a sdr capability the sdr will also help to run the hd video and convert it into a hdr video that we will talk about in later part and here you can see the buttons the power button the volume locker key it has a metallic uh, rim in the side in the back side you can see there is a glass on the top you are getting a 3.5 mm jack the dual camera setup is at the back there is a fingerprint sensor and uh, you can also see there is a flash and android one written on the device there is a nokia written on the device at the back Coming to the bottom part, we are getting the speaker grills, there is a Type-C charging port and there is a noise cancellation mic at the same time. Now talking about the device, we will pull out the tray which is offering you the SIM card and the micro SD card slot and we will check it out what is the combination of the tray we are getting around. So in the tray we are getting a hybrid SIM card slot and here you can see either you can use two nano SIM card slot or one nano SIM card slot and micro SD card slot. It supports the VOLT. Now talking about the device, it looks pretty premium. The device is definitely gorgeous and to check it out once for it. And talking about the display, it is also very vibrant. It adapts according to that uh, situation as the it's, it is coming with the SDR capability. Nokia is calling it a pure display, which is a different. We haven't seen this earlier before. And most probably Nokia will use this display on a regular basis. We have to test and try that in our review section, which we, you have to wait and check it out for that. Now coming to the hardware specification, the device comes with the 5.84 inch full full HD plus display, which is a pure display with 19 to 9 aspect ratio. Talking about the processor, it comes with the octa-core processor Snapdragon 636 RAM. It has a 4 GB of RAM memory, is 64 GB. Talking about the camera, it comes with the 12 plus 5 megapixel rear camera setup coming to the front camera it comes with the 5 megapixel front camera setup talking about the os it is running on android 9.0 pi os and the battery is 3060 milliampere now coming to the os uh, when we booted the device it was uh, showing that there is an update we updated it it was around 1300 mb and the update shows us that uh, there is a pi uh, available for the device here you can see there is the enhanced hdr mode this will enhance your experience with the device and I, as I already told you in the indoor and the outdoor the experience will be much better the darker will be deeper because of the SDR mode this is the high dynamic range if you don't know what the SDR means talking about the notch you can't hide the notch here I have checked that 
but you can't hide there is no face unlock in the device but the fingerprint sensor works very smoothly as far as the device is concerned it comes with the pi so definitely adaptive uh, battery is there you can see digital well-being is also pre-installed because i already told you that we got the update and we installed that update so this is what we are getting in the device and the battery what we are having is the 3000 milliampere battery this battery can be charged from 0 to 50 percent in only 30 minutes and it has a type c charger charging port so that is an added advantage for the device now talking about the camera the camera comes to the 12 plus 5 megapixel at the back setup so 12 megapixel is the rgb sensor and 5 megapixel is the monochrome sensor now the it comes with the zizis optics at the same time what we are getting is the 12 megapixel is having an aperture of f1.8 with the dual led flash talking about the front 5 megapixel secondary camera it is a monochrome camera which is having an aperture of f2.4 the front camera 8 megapixel is having an aperture of 2.0 here you can see the resolutions what we are getting regarding the uh, camera you can shoot 4k video using the rear camera you can shoot full hd video using the front camera at 30 fps what we are getting here and uh, in the device the camera and app is pretty much similar what we have seen in the nokia devices earlier now talking about the settings say you get the shutter control auto hdr support is the inside where you can change the hdr setting to on or off according to your requirement and the resolution at the same time there is a google lens on the top there is auto flash here you can check the auto flash you can switch it switch on there is a timer there is a mode where you can do single mode dual mode or the pip mode so dual camera mode both the mode can be operated from here there are some stickers which you can try it out and also the beauty mode is in the top you can play it around now talking about the modes what you are getting there is square mode there is a panorama mode unfortunately the camera just got uh, the camera app got crashed now talking about the there is a pro mode there is a photo mode video mode there is also a slow motion mode and also the time lapse mode these are the modes what we are getting talking about the front camera this is how it looks and the video it can shoot up to full hd video what i have already told you it also gives you a pro mode so there is a pro mode in the front camera and the back camera for taking the pictures and you can try it around now we have clicked some pictures using the rear and the front camera you can check the sample this is a normal shot using the rear camera this is the front camera using without any effects now i have tried with the beauty mode on and this is the ai camera what we are getting the last is the ar camera which i have used is using some stickers talking about this is the rear camera using the hdr mode and finally this is with the square mode so the picture is square you can post on in instagram here is the panorama shot this is what we have done with the camera talking about the benchmark score here is the geeky benchmark score what we are getting with the device for single core and the multiple core now talking about the antatu scores here you can check it out the antatu score this is the antatu score what we are getting for the nokia 7.1 and uh, once more i will run through, through the specification what i have already told you it is coming with the snapdragon 636 octagon processor it has a ram of 4 gb it is coming with the 64 gb internal storage and the front camera is 8 megapixel camera the rear camera is a setup of 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel whereas the 12 megapixel camera is the rgb sensor and the secondary 5 megapixel is the monochrome sensor so this is what the camera setup is it is coming with a battery of 3060 milliampere battery which is definitely not huge but it can perform and run through a whole day the device doesn't have any nfc here now talking about the sensors it come with a pretty uh, all uh, pretty much all the sensors what is required it has a gravity sensor it has a gyroscope sensor it has an uncalibrated zero sensor also it comes with the pressure proximity sensor also in the device talking about this this is a midnight blue color for nokia 7.1 plus this is all we are getting in the box and this is at the rate i old monk signing off please like the video share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us